All right, so this video was inspired from a comment by this guy. Uh, thanks for that. I thought it was pretty insightful. Now, I don't play games anymore, but this comment resonated with me and shed light on some things that I think I really should be talking about. Um, thank you, Mr. Rule Breaker. Again, I don't give a fuck. You're a dude. Women, go back to the dishes. <laughs> now, going off this comment, uh, I think he makes an excellent point. Um, Simply using the nuclear fallout example, if a nuclear fallout happened in the US, your games would just cease to exist tomorrow. You don't own shit. Okay, fuck your Steam library. And I get paying for access to a server for a multiplayer game is one thing, fair enough. But even if games are not open source, you don't really own the binary either. Uh, you always need to verify it with some fucking key. There is a lot of DRMs involved with this shit. And because if you own the binary, I suppose you could distribute it, right? Well, I understand there are problems with it, right? But the thing is, I oppose all forms of DRMs. And another point I'd like to stress is, most of the money of a video game success goes to corporations. It does not go to developers, okay? Uh, may, unless it's the case of an indie game, I guess they're slightly different. And another thing that pisses me off, again, highlighted by this comment and this viewer, thank you for that, is how video games have literally gotten dumber and dumber and dumbed down over the years. It's like the second anything becomes mainstream, earlier it was only the nerds playing video games, right? Now it's basically everybody and their fucking dog as well, right? The second anything becomes mainstream, the competency associated with that and related to that basically becomes insulted and mocked and dumbed down. Earlier, hosting a game server and like setting it up at your own house and, you know, connecting it to LAN or whatever the fuck, that was seen as a cool thing. Skills like that were necessary and value. But now it's just kind of nerdy and retarded. And I think this is what he meant by the cool way. It's like any form of competency is seen to restore virginity or whatever the fuck. And I honestly think that's what it is, you know? Uh, knowing things is literally insulted in today's society and because software is hip or whatever the most libtard field or whatever This is the field where you see it the most software and gaming any form of competency is seen as gay and nerdy And many people will ask me for a solution in the comments, right? Game dev deserve pay. What will incentivize the the funding of game? Quit That's my solution. Stop playing video games. Weave it out of your life slowly and stop watching Twitch as well. That's another thing. Twitch and video games, I'd argue, are the most pathological things in modern society. Like, in my opinion. This is half a joke. This shit makes Pablo Escobar look chill. Okay? It's about getting you trapped in a virtual world so you can be controlled and forget about how fucked up the world is and your life in real life, okay? Your real life problems and money. That's another thing. Uh, DRM, microtransactions and shit like that. And this is what video games and Twitch are for. And even a lot of podcasts in my opinion, I guess. Fuck technology, man. Throw your phone down the toilet. Dislike this YouTube video. Call me a cunt in the comments. Unsubscribe and go live your fucking life. Okay. Games by design are focused on immersion. Sure, they might be able to tell a good story, but at the end of the day, the game playing aspect is basically the fucking same. You get into another reality where you're taller, more jacked, have a bigger dick, faster, yada yada, where progression is sped up like crazy, so you feel like you're making progress. And this is why I think they're pathological at their core. They really exploit the human psychology and the need for progress and connection and interaction a lot. And nowadays, a lot of games it's like it stimulates, simulates interactions well. You can choose your dialogue, right? Think about how fucked up that is, man. Like that's, you see what I'm trying to say, right? And again, you don't enjoy video games. You get sucked into it. There's a big fucking difference. It consumes all of your attention. It tires you out. And after you finish playing or you stop playing, you're left to face the problems of the real world. Or the trash can pond, you know? Nobody does anything productive after playing a video game because your brain is completely fried out. And the same thing with Twitch. Twitch is basically celebrity culture dialed up to 100 like celebrity culture by default is already toxic as fuck but they managed to make it way worse again girlfriend simulator parasocial relationships living vicariously etc etc you get the point that's what twitch is really disgusting shit and i'd also like to note that video game quality video game quality has been decreasing a lot it's a bit like movies uh, you all know marvel phase 4 it's not even because of the political messaging it's just shit characters it's just bullshit shit characters shit plot shit everything like even if you remove the politics the movie is still shit the similar thing has happened with a lot of AAA video games they're just sheer fucking trash you had far cry 3 and now you have far cry 6 
Okay, anybody who's played video games back in the day knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, and okay. I think I have kind of a solution. You see, we're getting to the day and age where technology is advancing a lot, right? In fact, we are probably at the point where literally anyone or a small group of people can make a game by themselves. Just like anyone can make a YouTube video, like this asshole, or DeviantArt Hentai, or Foss Music, I guess. And I think video games should function in a similar way. Speaking of which, indie games are actually far more successful these days anyway, so this could actually be a solution. And also, I'm willing to bet that a lot of people wouldn't mind literally donating money to game developers if they appreciate the game that much, and they know that the developers will get that money, not fucking Ubisoft or whatever the fuck. But again, I don't know too much about the solution. And I understand the solution I propose is very vague and shit. I, I agree with that, fair enough. But like I said, the best solution is to really quit, okay? I, I do think video games are pretty pathological in nature, and I think Twitch is just like utterly fucked. Twitch is just no. No. To explain my point, I'd say play board games with your friends and family, and then with the same people, play a video game, and then notice the difference. Notice how much you guys are talking to each other. Notice how much you are laughing. Notice how much you are truly engaging with each other. It's compared to video games where it's just it's just it's just spurgy. You you get the point. I, I think you'll you'll feel this thing. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about this topic. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for the comment, and have a nice day.